Hi, welcome to Sandhya's Kitchen. In this video, let's see how to make butter full makana. Here, I'll not be using instant pot. I'll be using induction cooktop to make this recipe. Let's take a quick look at the ingredients. Heavy whipping cream, half a cup. 4 tablespoons of butter. 2 tablespoons of ginger garlic paste. 1 tablespoon of kasturi methi leaves, bunch of coriander leaves, 3 tablespoons of red chilli powder, 2 tablespoons of coriander powder, 1 tablespoon garam masala, salt to taste, 1 onion pureed, 2 tomatoes pureed and 50 grams of full makhana. These are also lotus seeds. You can find them in any Indian store. Once the vessel is hot, add butter. Once the butter is completely melted, add onion paste. Let the onion saute for a while. Once the raw smell of the onion goes away, add ginger garlic paste. and let it fry for another 2 minutes. Keep sautéing it till the raw smell of the ginger garlic paste goes away. After sautéing it well, add tomato puree. Now close the lid and let this simmer for a while. Give it an occasional stir to avoid burning. Oil starts to ooze out. Add red chilli powder. Add coriander powder. Add half a cup of water and add salt. Now add lotus seeds. and let this simmer for a while. You can close the lid. I have let it simmer on a low flame for 10 minutes. You can see the butter coming out. Now add garam masala powder and add kasturi methi leaves. Now add the whipping cream. And let this simmer on a low flame for 2 minutes. Keep stirring occasionally to avoid burning. I have let this simmer for um, 4 to 5 minutes on a low flame. And you can see that the butter started to... Uh, come on the surface. So this is ready to be served. I'm going to top it off with coriander leaves and turn off the stuff. Thank <laughs> you.